I'm sure you have noticed that light haze all across the Austin sky. Unfortunately, it's only the beginning, and it's coming at a very inconvenient time. Storm Team meteorologist Jared Plushnik explains how this smoke can affect us and how long it will stick around. We see it. Martin Creek Mall and look back toward the city, you see that haze. Smell it. My niece has been getting affected. Her lungs, you know, mucus and everything. She's been getting a little sick. And there's nothing we can do about it. Enjoying the outdoors could be tough for some of us as smoke from over 1,000 miles away is blowing in. This time of the year, we get agricultural burnings in Mexico and in Central America. Also, we could get high pressure over the Gulf of Mexico with a clockwise flow around high pressure. We get a south wind all the way from south of the border, and that brings in all that smoke across Central Texas, giving us the haze. This go around, the timing not working out for those suffering from allergies. Yeah, we're getting a very significant one two punch this year where. Typically, in a typical spring season, you have a, a major oak season, then the oak kind of fades away, and then you have the smoke coming from Mexico, which is usually one of the first times in recent memory that I've seen both of them here at the same time. It's only the beginning as more smoke is scheduled to fill the sky. Most intense is usually in late April and early May, so we have the most intense part of the season still to come yet. Right now, we're just seeing light amounts of smoke coming up. Once the smoke settles, relief is in sight. For most people, they get relief in the summertime. That's our better season. In the meantime, have a plan in place and see your doctor if your respiratory acts up. Meteorologist Jared Plushnik, KVU News, Night Beat.